Operation Shylock, A Confession, 1993, is a semi-autobiographical postmodern novel by American author Philip Roth. The story features a fictionalized version of Roth himself, who travels to Israel during the trial of accused war criminal John Demjanjuk. Although the book is classified as fiction, Roth later claimed that everything in it is true, suggesting he only labeled it as fiction at the request of a Mossad operative, Israel's intelligence agency. However, the absurdity of the narrative casts doubt on Roth's assertion of its truthfulness. The title references Shylock, the Jewish moneylender from Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice, who seeks revenge on his Christian rival. In 1986, Roth suffers a psychotic episode triggered by Halcyon, a sedative, triazolam he was prescribed, which was later banned in several countries due to its psychiatric side effects. During his recovery, Roth discovers that a man in Israel is impersonating him and promoting diasporism, a philosophy advocating the return of Israelis to their ancestral European homelands, a form of reverse Zionism. At first, Roth questions whether this revelation is part of a lingering hallucination. Simultaneously, Roth is scheduled to travel to Israel for an interview with Aharon Appelfeld, a real-life Israeli novelist and Holocaust survivor. Eager to confront his double, Roth embarks on the trip as planned. Upon his arrival, the highly publicized trial of the real-life figure Ivan John Demjanjuk is unfolding. Demjanjuk, a Ukrainian who served in the Soviet Red Army during World War II, was captured by the Germans in 1941 and became a Troniki, a collaborator who worked as a concentration camp guard. After living in the U.S. as a citizen, Demjanjuk was extradited to Israel in 1986 accused of being Ivan the Terrible, a notoriously cruel guard at the Treblinka extermination camp. Eleven Holocaust survivors identified him as the brutal figure from the camp in Nazi-occupied Poland. At the conclusion of the trial, Demjanjuk was found guilty and sentenced to death. But in 1993, the same year Operation Shylock, a confession was published, Israel's Supreme Court overturned the verdict. New evidence revealed that Ivan the Terrible was actually a different man, Ivan Marchenko, who was nearly a decade older than Demjanjuk. However, Demjanjuk was later convicted in Germany for his role in war crimes as a guard at the Sobibor extermination camp. Once in Israel, Roth abandons his assignment to interview Aharon Appelfeld, instead focusing on tracking down the imposter, who also bears a striking physical resemblance to Roth, making him a doppelganger. Throughout the novel, Roth refers to this double as Moisha Pipik, Yiddish for Moses Bellybutton. Roth eventually encounters Pipik at the Demjanjuk trial, where the two converse as Roth tries to understand Pipik's motivations. Simultaneously, Roth reconnects with George Ziad, a college friend and staunch supporter of the Arab cause in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. At one point, Roth even convinces Ziad that he and Pipik are the same person, finding himself increasingly drawn to impersonating his doppelganger. Roth's obsession deepens after meeting Pippik's girlfriend, Jinx, an irresistibly beautiful woman. Through Jinx, Roth learns more about Pippik's strange life, including his founding of Anti-Semites Anonymous, a support group modeled on Alcoholics Anonymous, aimed at curing anti-Semitism through a 12-step program. Pippik is also a former private detective with cancer, who wears a penile implant to satisfy Jinx. By the novel's end, Roth is fully engaged in impersonating Pippik as part of Operation Shylock, a Mossad mission to expose American Jews secretly funding the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Roth is recruited by a Mossad agent named Smilesberger, who hopes to use diasporism, the reverse Zionist philosophy Pippik promotes, as a cover for Roth's espionage activities. The character of Shylock looms large over the novel's themes. At one point, David Sapoznik, a rare books dealer, invokes Shylock to describe Israel's thirst for vengeance during the Demjanjuk trial. He calls Shylock the savage, repellent, villainous Jew, whose image of hatred and revenge has become the doppelganger of the enlightened Western conscience. Though Operation Shylock, a confession received mixed reviews upon its release, its bold exploration of postmodern themes has earned it greater acclaim in recent years. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.